finishing a hat. Look, I made a hat. Sunday in the Park with George, or it's about the artist and his relationship to his work and his relationship to his mistress. And really, it is the work his mistress, is, is that, you know, the real relationship in his life. And it's about obsession, um, and it is about the act of creation. And I think that's where we get into some possibly autobiographical detail with Stephen Sondheim and, and you know, the finishing the hat, uh, which is in the centre of Act One, it is about the act of creation. It is about when you're in a room on your own and you're working on a hat, in the case of Seurat, or in the case of Sondheim, a song, or, you know, whatever it is, and suddenly, you know, 12 hours has passed and you're still sat there doing the same thing. So it's about how you can be alone with your work and how that can affect the people around you who are in your life. It's like, are you your work? Is your work you? And, and that's kind of at the heart of the show as well and, and pursuing new ideas. That's, that's very much the, the root of the first half of the show. The second half of the show, the themes are about an artist who is perhaps in trouble or an artist who has lost his way um, and also about how art might have lost its way. It operates in a financial place which shows you where we've come in the hundred years since George Seurat made his paintings and never sold one while he was alive to the world of George in Act Two, who's his fictional great-grandson, who is selling works but not really living a life that he wants to live. It's, uh, you know, the comparison between the two artists is, is quite a striking one. You know, they're, they're very similar but they're also very different. It's, it's a very complex show with lots of little scenes and some big scenes and some big choral numbers and some small dance numbers and some, you know, um, lots of little vignettes of relationships and episodes um, which are all held together by the, by the artist, really.